My brothers and sisters, what is your relationship with the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? It is important for us to realize that initially when the Quran was being revealed, it's amazing how the kuffar of Quraysh did not want to listen to a single word of that Quran. And the reason is, as soon as they heard a word, immediately they felt inclined towards it no matter who they were. Even the enemies felt inclined towards it. And I'm sure you know of the story of Al-Akhnas ibn Shuraik with Abu Sufyan and Abu Jahl. When the Prophet sallallahu used to recite the Quran in a beautiful voice at night, they used to tiptoe and go in the darkness to listen to the words of the Quran. Yet they were the enemies of Rasulullah sallallahu They did not accept him, they rejected him mainly because of arrogance, not because they belied the message and its contents. They knew deep down this is the truth. Wallahi, they knew deep down that this is the truth. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قَدْ نَعْلَمُ إِنَّهُ لَيَحْزُنُكَ الَّذِي يَقُولُونَ فَإِنَّهُمْ لَا يُكَذِّبُونَكَ وَلَكِنَّ الظَّالِمِينَ بِآيَاتِ اللَّهِ يَجْحَدُونَ We know that the utterances they are uttering, they hurt you, they pain you, but we want to advise you. Rasulullah sallallahu is being told by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they do not belie this message. They are not disagree in disagreement. No, they are in denial. They are denying who are in denial. The oppressors, the wrongdoers are in denial. They are arrogant, full of arrogance. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. So they did not want to hear the word publicly, but they were tiptoeing at night to listen to the word. And it so happened that as they are coming back, as they are returning from this beautiful listening of the Quran read by none other than Muhammad sallallahu When they were tiptoeing back or coming back, they bumped into each other. What are you doing at this time of the night? May Allah safeguard us. What are you doing at this time of the night? One asks the other and the other one says, well, what are you doing at this time of the night? And the third one says, well, what are you doing at this time of the night? And it so happened that they told each other the truth and they said, you know what? We went to listen to the word of Rasulullah sallallahu or the word of this man. We just wanted to hear it. They said, no way. We are the leaders. We are the leaders of Quraysh. We are the ones who are telling the people not to listen. And we are the ones listening. Imagine what hypocrisy. May Allah safeguard us from hypocrisy. So it's important for us to know that they agreed. We are not going to come back. And the next day, guess what? They were there. And they thought the one thought that no, the other, the others are not going to come. Let me go. And they all thought the same thing. So they got back Al-Akhnas ibn Shuraik, Abu Jahl, Abu Sufyan, and they were back there listening. And on the way back, again, they bumped into each other. Guess what? A second time, leaders of Quraysh. What fools? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. And the second day, they bumped into each other again. Hey, what are you doing here? Now there was no question because they knew what they were doing there. So the one looks at the other and they said, okay, let's forget about what we were doing here. Promise we are not going to come back. Second time round. Promise we are not going to come back. No way. There is no chance we're going to come back. Okay, we all took our oaths. Okay, we took our oaths, went back. Take a guess. The next day they were back for the third time. Subhanallah. The power of the Quran, the beauty of the Quran. It's the word of Allah. It is magnetizing my brothers and sisters. Do you feel that magnetism? Do you feel magnetized with the Quran? We have thousands, hundreds of thousands of reciters. Are there no reciters that you feel touch the heart when they read the Quran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us not only to listen to it, but even to recite it. And this is why struggle to try and read the Quran correctly. Make an effort, strive to read the Quran correctly. Some people are too shy to add the melody in the Quran. And we've always said this. It is one thing you should not be shy of. It is the word of Allah. Do it with the correct heart. And you know what? Practice at home. Do it in your own. Even when you're sitting on your own, don't just read the Quran. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Maliki Yawmiddin. You want to be achieving greater spirituality from it. Read it melodiously. When you're on your own, that's what we're talking about. Allahu Akbar. It is actually an act of worship to beautify the recitation of the Quran and to read it correctly. May Allah make it easy for us.